Hello everyone. Today is Monday, April 6th. I started creating this this morning and by the time I'm ready to record it and release it, some things have already changed. So let's go through some stuff and uh, just to make sure we're all clear. Um, I have chatted with Miss Jordan and she said hello and I just want to touch bases with everybody in one more way. Hopefully we'll get a few more of you uh, signed in and doing some work and submitting it for me. First of all, be well. This has been incredibly stressful for everybody. This is not anything normal. Um, so many of you have done all sorts of good things and I know you have lots of stuff going on. I know I do. So this is this is a step by step and we're just trying to make sure that we make the best of things for as long as we go. I uh, just found out again this morning that this is now going to be until at least April 29th that we won't be together. So want to make sure that you're finding ways to move forwards with your learning. Uh, please stay connected. And many of you have already joined the Remind for your class and indeed got a link to this video from there. Uh, please, if you haven't joined, please uh, go to the link or put in the uh, code shown for your class. Both living environment classes are on the same link and the other two classes you can see what their uh, codes are there. There is also information on Canvas and on the ITC Learning at Home page. Mr. Uh, Sahowski has put all of the codes for all your classes that he had up there. So we should be good with that. I'd like to ask you to please try to contact me twice a week, either by remind or by email. Uh, I know some of you have been gotten through in Canvas too, but I want to be able to respond directly to you to any questions or just see that you're okay. Um, I want to make sure that we stay in touch so that everything moves forward and that I can get you information. Remind is a good way to do that. Uh, some of the other methods I've got available to me to communicate uh, go directly to your parents and I don't mind communicating with your parents but I'd like to be able to directly communicate with you if they're hearing from all of their in some cases all of their children's teachers it gets to be overwhelming and so if I have remind or an email where I can directly communicate with you that's great remind seems to work the best and again it doesn't have to be anything I, I'm not sending stuff out very often, but it's a way that we can uh, communicate so that you can find out about things or so you can ask me questions. And please let me know if something isn't working online or if you're not sure what to do online. Uh, Remind is a great tool for that as well. Um, I am not available 24-7, but you might be surprised at when I do check it and whether I can answer something quickly sometimes. Um, I can text you back while I'm doing something else. So Remind is a good good communication source. And uh, it's nice to be able to talk directly, as directly as texting is. Um, some of you have done a great deal of work. Uh, I appreciate that. I know some of you have been working on paper things. I just need you to do what you can. Balance it. Don't freak out. I put due dates on things, but they are not necessarily um, fixed in stone. There are a couple of things that we do need to talk about. Uh, they made the third marking period in March 6th, which was now over a month ago. Um, I adjusted the grades, took out any work from after March 6th and put it into the fourth marking period uh, folder. You can use the filter on school tool, I think, to see what is uh, March 6th. I contacted those of you that needed to do some makeup work. Some of you have done that. If you're not sure, 
If you look in school tool and your grade is not above a 65, please contact me. You can also look in Castle Learning if I gave you a makeup assignment. Uh, it is stored there in Castle Learning. I do not need to start uh, putting grades in, uh, but we have until April 10th for people to do that catch-up stuff. So if you need to do third marking period makeup work, to get to a passing grade, please contact me as soon as possible. Anything that you were given online or when you left school that last day to work on is now part of what will be the fourth marking period. How that's going to work, we still don't have answers on. Everything is changing all the time, but any of the stuff you've done at home will be for fourth marking period. I will start putting in some grades very soon hopefully by the end of the week uh, some may go in sooner than that the deadlines for things the dates that i put on those are flexible zeros can be fixed if you weren't able to get online and then you got a computer or something like that or your internet connection wasn't working right but now it's straightened out don't worry if it said the deadline was a week ago. You can still do it. I'll still give you a grade. You might want to send me a message and remind if I've already put the grade in school tool so that I know to go back in and look for yours. But as of right now, nothing has been put in the school tool yet, so we still have some flexibility. Um, work is generally listed in Canvas um, if it's online stuff. You might have to go to Castle Learning or Newsla to do it. Uh, if something isn't working right, please do let me know. I have found with a couple of people I've chatted with that Edpuzzle, sometimes if you come back to it later or even back out of it and try it again, it will let you in. Uh, there are ways around it. If it doesn't work at one point, try it again another time. But let me know if it's not working for you after you've tried it a few times. If you are having online problems, work on the papers that you went home with, those review packets, and send me pictures of the pages you've done, either by email or remind, hopefully so I can see them and see what the assignment was. Um, especially anatomy and physiology, you guys had a lot of papers that you could be working on. Um, I haven't given you much online to work on because of that. Please, if you have questions about that, uh, let me know. I can give you some further direction with that, uh, and I may be putting some of that on Canvas very soon. Uh, if you're doing something else, uh, some of you I know are probably uh, supervising younger brothers and sisters. If you're helping them with science stuff, document it you know, let me know about it. Let me see what we can do with that. Um, if you're if you're doing little at home labs for their class or something, let me know because it might be something that we can get you some credit for. Um, we're all figuring this out one step at a time. Uh, there were some announcements today that uh, are changing things even as we speak and I'll probably find out more stuff tomorrow that will change some of the stuff we're doing. So just keep working at stuff. Everything will count for something eventually. It's that you're putting in some effort in your learning that is going to make the big difference as we go forwards. So what's next? When I typed up this slide, uh, I said that the New York State Education Department will be making some decisions soon about some things like labs, regents exams, and the school year. Well, while I was just finishing it up, they decided that there were no Regents exams this year. How that's going to affect each and every individual, we don't yet know. They will be giving more information to the schools and the school districts tomorrow, which will be Tuesday the 7th. We will have some more information for you after that. Um, but you will still get a grade for something this year and doing your work and showing that you're still making the effort to be successful is going to make the difference so make sure that you're checking in seeing what's what and uh, moving forward with your work
And again, as things change, we'll try to keep you informed. I think you're getting robocalls and things like that. I will keep you informed with the situation uh, with uh, your classes for Ms. Jordan. And when Ms. Jordan comes back, she will keep you informed as to what you need to do. Onondaga County and the Syracuse City School District may have some different things going on as far as dates and classes and things like that. We're just going to all kind of play it by ear. That's why it's important that you stay in touch and communicate. Finally, reminded you, as I said to some people the last day we were in class together, everyone in New York State is in the same situation, and indeed, everybody across the country. <laughs> my, uh, some of my family is in California, and they are closed for, I believe, the rest of the school year, and they have exams and stuff, too. They're all figuring it out as well, and so will we. Okay? Finally, uh, as I talk to other teachers, as you well know, we miss you. We miss seeing you. Um, it's it's kind of strange standing sitting here talking to the computer. Uh, I hope that you're well. And I hope that you will join Remind, reach out with any questions, uh, tell your parents to reach out with any questions. Uh, my email again, uh, I should have typed it on here, but it's dlaraby2 at scsd.us. And you can also uh, contact me through the Remind, and I can send you the email that way as well. Uh, go into Canvas. Uh, contact me. Just stay in touch and do your best to get some work done. Thanks.